Hello, everyone, and... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So what the hell? What the hell is going on here? Oh, my. Well, there's nothing for it. I'll have to carry on like this. So here we are, ready to go in Sochi, and we're away, and someone in front of me there already not starting their engine at the correct time there, and someone thought that turn one was a left-hander. Well, he's been... Uh, Sadly mistaken, unfortunately, on the run towards turn one. It's a very fast right-hander. And we're now into turn two here, which is the first one you have to break for. And, yep, admittedly, there's been a bit of people not breaking for it. And they've all gone wide. And I've managed to muscle my way up into P9, actually. So we're straight into the points in the race today. That's fantastic news. There is a bit of a concern that people aren't going to take me seriously this race. And I can't imagine why. On towards turn five, then I think this is, and he's cut me off. Absolutely no room was given by the car in P7 there, so that's not ideal at all. And we were very close to a significant crash straight through the rear wing of his car, but we've got away with it, and this has been an extremely jostly lap so far, but one that I've done extremely well in, up to P8. I think someone just punted me from behind there, but that's... Part of the regime, unfortunately, with these online races. There's a number of cars behind me that are looking to gobble me up into this corner now. A real difficult one to get right because you're braking whilst turning. And that's one more thing than my small brain can manage as someone swoops round the... That was remarkable scenes from the blue car in front of me, considering he's having connection troubles as well. Really was all kinds of ambitious from him and all kinds of successful. So we're coming towards the end of lap one, final two corners. And it's been reasonable. I've kept the car on the straight and narrow in the large part. And that's as much as we can expect at times. Some of the driving has been questionable at times. Oh, oh, I'm back. Oh, well, that's absolutely excellent. <coughs> That could be, yeah, yeah, I'm gone again, gone again, never mind, lap two, here we go, into turn two, and it's been, uh, I've avoided a crash, I suppose, and we're still in the points. This turn three is a real tricky one on the pad, because you've got to hold the angle just right, which can be catastrophic at times, but we've just about got away with it, and we hold... No, oh, that's not how to do turn six there. He's lost a lot of time, it has to be said. The traction turned non-existent for him and someone else is driving their own racetrack off to the left there. And the ergo sum of those two incidents is now P8, which is progress. And we're doing all right. We're still yet to actually crash out, which is remarkable scenes. I think we can agree. Usually we expect some sort of total wipeout at some point. And we are now approaching my least favourite corner on the track. In fact, we need to look into this in more detail. This corner has a, oh, <laughs> it has a completely blind approach. So on the pad, you've got to try and get the angle right and the braking right at the same time. D is it just me? Is it just me that has a massive issue with this corner? Please let me know. But anyway, we'll go on through and we'll absolutely... N <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to shake this off for the rest of the video, unfortunately. So we'll just have to make do and, and try and take me as seriously as you can do. Imagine this is me in a normal professional race, you know, like my, the rest of my videos are. And you treat me with absolute respect and maturity because that's, you know, what this channel's about. It's not about being silly. It's not about, you know, making, making jokes. It's about serious racing. So please try and keep that in mind when you're watching the commentary today. Someone down the inside into turn two there, and I've left him enough room to fit a caravan on the apex, but he, he didn't take advantage of it, actually. And I now have the inside line through turn three, which is just where I want to be. I've got the angle slightly wrong there, a bit wide, but we got away with things, and we remain in P8. But this guy, oh my, but look at the absolute train that is behind me. People are going to be logging on to the National Rail, trying to book tickets on the Into the Barrier Express. It's getting that much like a train. Carriages lining up, waiting to overtake me. But never mind that bit of uncertainty down the line and there's contact there. That's not going well at all. But still we plough on. Reg oh, penalty. Right, we're going back. We're having a look at that one. That is absolutely scandalous. Let's have a look at this. He's just rejoining the track, for God's sake, man. No way is that a penalty. No way. 
Never mind, we'll plow on and we've still not actually been hit out at any... Oh my, have you seen what's going on here? We've got bordering on five abreast as we approach my least favourite corner on the track. Hold on to your eyeballs because this is going to get very ugly. In we go! Oh, it's already gone to pot. It's gone immediately to pot. Round we go. And the barrier saved me a bit there. We will plow on. Somehow, still P9. That is... <laughs> ha! I'm attracted to P9 in this Grand Prix. It seems very, very strange. And just as I say that, actually, it's P8. So we're going towards the final two laps now. And we're P8. So we have a very good chance of taking the points. Is it going to be that... Squeaky voice is the way forward, is the way to get good results on this game, quite possibly. Down towards turn one we go. We're going to have to knock it, maybe onto Rich Mix 3 anytime soon to defend ourselves, because this guy is looking very busy into turn two. Down he goes now. I've left enough space for a caravan once again, but this guy's taken full advantage of it, and he has now taken me, and I've just been hit off. Well, that's just an absolute barriering from the guy there, and rejoining I've made an absolute dog's breakfast off as well. So I had a cat's breakfast on the exit of turn two, and a dog's breakfast through turn three, and somehow we're still P10, so we're still in the points. Someone off there, literally just pirouetting in the middle of a straight. <laughs> P9 again! Here we are. I cannot, for the life of me, lose P9, no matter how hard I try. I reckon I could drive to Lithuania in this Grand Prix and still end up finishing P9. It really is quite almost frightening at this stage how much of this Grand Prix I've spent in P9. I think we're up to P8 again, though. Yeah, we're up to P... I don't know when that happened. So I overtook someone at some point and I completely missed it. If I finish any other position than P9, I will be absolutely staggered. I've made an absolute... Horses breakfast of that corner again. I can't do it for the life of me. I might make a video one day about how much I hate that corner Top 10 corners that I hate. There we are. There's a video idea just Producing whilst we're commentating. That's just what you want to hear, isn't it? So final lap time Where will we finish in the squeaky voice Grand Prix as it's turned out? It's been a very entertaining one and I suspect a lap 5 out of 5 could well be the most entertaining of the lot of them, because look at the queue once again. Some guys are wasting absolutely no time. It's another alien car that's gone straight down the inside into turn 1. I had little to no defence of that one. I don't know what car setup he's got on, but it's some sort of alien setup quite clearly. Otherwise, he would no way have that kind of speed. He's absolutely all over the rear end of the guy in front now. So, I don't know where this guy from P... Whatever he was in has found this kind of pace, but it's put me down into P9, which I could well have predicted given that this is turning into the P9 Grand Prix. But nevertheless, we will fight on. The guy ahead of me look, is looking extremely ropey. He is looking like he's lost all kinds of plot with about half a lap to go. So apart from the penalty, which is a minor confusion, which we picked up at this point two laps ago, wholly unfairly, I may add, because of the, uh, well, I don't know what kind of rule book the stewards were following, but uh, it's, it's not a rule book that I'm familiar with. And believe me, I've read the Formula One manual cover to cover. Towards the final sector then, it looks like someone's going to have a go down my inside into this corner. We're going to do a slight... Oh, there's two of them down the inside. Well, that was an absolutely horrendous lunge from the pair of them. Somehow I've managed to hold it together. That could have been a... Uh, 180 degree sour end to the Grand Prix. He's now barging me completely out of the way and we've dropped into P10 with a few corners to go. That's not what we wanted but he wasn't going to give me any time and space. Penultimate corner then, in we go and we got a bit wide. Left the door ever so slightly open for someone else to come through. Is it going to be a non-point scoring finish after all of that? No, it looks like we held P10. We held P10. Well, that's fantastic. There we are, P10. That was funny. And not just because the racing was crazy. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? What is my life? <laughs> oh God, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and goodbye.